Time for a look at what's new in music and video. Our guys, as usual, the boys from Bull Moose, Mick Pratt and Brett Rickard with us here on 207. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, Thanks for having us. Uh, we're starting off with a new album from Frank Turner. He's a guy whom we interviewed here on 207 a few years ago. He's one of the most nice. engaging musicians I've ever talked to. A really cool guy. I love the name of this new album, <laughs> Be More Kind. Good advice for all of us. <laughs> Absolutely. For sure. What's for sure. the deal with this uh, release? Well, I'm a giant fan of Frank Turner, and he tries to almost be like a, a British Bruce Springsteen. So, um, but what's different about this album is the topic overall. So his prior albums are more kind of personal mental health stuff, and this is almost like worldwide mental health. <laughs> that what, what do we need? We need to be more kind. We need to watch out for fascism and that kind of thing. But a really strong album. Does this, does this mark, I mean, aside from the broader perspective, any kind of a particular change in the music, or is it what his fans love already? Kind of. It's a little bit more commercial, and, and he's brought in a little more like almost like 80s guitar sound into a couple of the songs. But he's just trying to, you know, navigate his kind of singer-songwriter world yeah. and uh, kind of reach a broader audience. And he's a talented uh, songwriter too. All right, on to a, uh, another one. This is a video release from Mary and the, or it's called Mary and the Witch's Flower. <laughs> yeah. Not from Mary and the Witch's <laughs> Flower. It yeah. is Mary and the Witch's Flower. Uh, let's take a look at a clip from this, and then we'll talk about it. Roll the clip. Witch's flower. They only bloom once every seven years. They say witches used to seek it out. What is going on? That is a good question. What is going on? <laughs> uh, what is going on? So this is uh, this is a new release from a, a recently founded Come animation on. studio, uh, Studio Punko, which is made of uh, Studio Ghibli. Yes, yeah, oh, Studio Ponok. Jeez. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> so last time of, you're on this show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so no, but it, it's it's a bunch of Studio Ghibli uh, alums, and you can obviously tell from the art style. Uh, that it's got that kind of like My Neighbor Totoro, um, uh, Kiki's Delivery Service kind of vibe. Um, you know, hand-drawn animation, tales of, of supernatural magic, and, and it's, it's really cool. I'm, I'm really excited to see what this studio does as they continue to put out more movies and, and, and tell more sort of fantastic tales. What do you like best, the story, the animation, or the just animation. the whole package work? I, I mean, the story is great, but the animation, I think, is really what sells these releases. I mean, it's like, not that CG animation isn't sweet, and there's a lot of really cool movies in that sphere, but it's awesome that there's still a market for like the hand-drawn, beautiful, you know, ar artistic. It's uh, it's phenomenal. You could just kind of get lost in the. You couldn't be nodding your head more vigorously. <laughs> no, yeah, it's not just for kids. I mean, adults absolutely love this. I mean, so visually engaging. All right, Fantastic. Speaking, speaking of films that <laughs> yeah. are not just for kids, but also for adults, that's a perfect <laughs> introduction to our next one, Paddington 2. Yep. Let's take a look at this. Mr. Gruber. Oh, what's this? Ah, <laughs> this is London. It's wonderful. Aunt Lucy always dreamed of coming to London. If she saw this, it would be like she were finally here. This Aunt Lucy! is an exceedingly rare phenomenon in that the critics were unanimous in their praise for this idea. film. I'm going to get yeah. It. yeah, it had 100%, it has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes right now. Folks can see 197 reviewers all all like this film. <laughs> and uh, and you can see why though, though which it, it you know, it's not winning any Academy Awards or anything, right. but it's entertaining for the whole family. And uh, one reviewer at the uh, Chicago Reader wrote a really interesting uh, parallel between this and The Shape of Water. <laughs> and, and, and their argument was that in The Shape of Water, that, that the actors managed to give us empathy and care for something non-human, right. and the same thing happens in Paddington too. <laughs> You know, that's uh, we like these stories. It's crazy, yeah. but uh, uh, humans love stories about animals, talking animals. We've loved them for you know in movies for a hundred yeah. years. So and clearly, we don't sit there and say, "Oh, bears don't talk." <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's great too that that um, you know, kind of in the same vein as Mary and the Witch's Flower, there's like a really nice market for very like wholesome family entertainment. Like, there's no edgy jokes. There's no kind of like you know PG-13 humor. It's just kind of like you but know self -deprecating clever. Self-deprecating Hugh Grant uh, yeah. jokes yeah. for the adults you know that <laughs> stuff but it, it's good it's you know it joins you know on the waterfront and citizen kane <laughs> and <laughs> it's right right up there 100%. yeah percent rating 100%. all right let's end with uh, another music release this is from van morrison and joey DeFrancesco. this is an interesting combo people
little bit about Van Morrison. Who's Joey DeFrancesco, and what do we got here with this release? Well, he's a he's an excellent organist, and uh, and so Van Morrison, what he's had throughout his career is he has incredible musicians around him, and Joey DeFrancesco matches that. And uh, so these are a bunch of jazz and blues standards, and. Uh, if you ever want to feel like an underachiever, know that Van Morrison is 72 and has released three albums, I believe, in the last year. I mean, he's crushing it. Yeah. And so, so, so yeah, his, you, you hear the, the age in his voice a little bit, but still, you know, the musicianship more than makes up for it. Thanks for demolishing our already fragile <laughs> egos by telling us that we are underachievers. Well, <laughs> all right. But it also leaves you something to look forward to. You know, you know, Van Morrison's 72 and he's still out there working. Maybe, so. maybe at 72 will be that production. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, gotta leave it there. Mick, Brett, thank you as always. Yeah. Stay with us back with more of 207 right after this.